Hey guys, it's Mira. I thought I would film in a little bit of a different area today of the game room since the game room is where I tend to be filming all the time lately. Um, that's a crane game right there. You know the games where like you put in a coin and you win a prize? Well, like if you come over and you want to play it, we just give you coins and you pick a stuffy or whatever kind of toy you want and um, you get it. So whatever. It's just fun. Anyway, um, I look a little bit different today. I know people are going to mention it. Um, I don't wear makeup on YouTube, but I do wear makeup when I'm going out and I'm going to the beach with some of my mom friends after this. So I do makeup when I go out. I know everybody loves to mention the fact that I don't have any eyebrows. I don't have any eyebrows, guys, because it's a genetic condition, and I think it's kind of stupid to draw them on. I've done it a few times, but I think it looks retarded, so I don't do it. Um, well, today, so today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite reactors and fellow Chantal fan, who is the Gaining Ground. I'm not going to mention any names other than the main players who are the Gaining Ground, who I'll refer to as Gigi, Life of a Free Spirit, who I'll refer to as Callie, and Charlie, who is, of course, Charlie Gold. The other players in this circle jerk do not need to be named even by a small channel like me with like 150 subscribers because they don't deserve the attention. So I'll preface this by saying that I really liked Callie, Life of a Free Spirit. Um, I've watched her a really long time. I know her personality can be a lot, but um, I've always liked her energy and her vibe, and I felt like she had like a really beautiful soul, and she was just a chill girl, and that's how I felt up until yesterday when I saw all of this uh, popping off on Twitter. Um, you guys know that I can't stand Charlie. Uh, well, you know, if you've watched my call-out video on Charlie, you know that um, I just can't stand her. So if I'm biased or whatever, I'm biased. I just don't like her. Uh, so what happened is all over Twitter, if you still want to see it, it's confusing, but I watched Gigi's live last night. Um, it was pretty long, and between the comments and everything he had to say, I think I have the majority of the story. So if I get anything wrong, of course, comment down below. Um, if you need any extra information, comment down below. Maybe somebody else can help you if I don't know it. Um, so, uh, I will be saying allegedly a lot in this video just because, uh, sorry, I'm rocking on my chair. I gotta stop doing that. Um, I'll be saying allegedly a lot because obviously I cannot confirm anything personally. I certainly have seen the tweets. I know what was said, but, um, I think I need to preface them with allegedly just because of this situation is really really serious at this point um so Gigi was doxxed he was fully doxxed his name his address his mother his job um this is really fucked up allegedly Callie is the one who t tweeted it out first and Charlie was allegedly in on it they allegedly conspired to do this to him um Callie has beef over Gigi um, because he s supports Chantal. That's how it started, as far as I know. Um, I don't know whatever business it is of hers, who he supports and who he doesn't like. Um, but that's, that's apparently where their beef came from. And Charlie and Gigi have beef because he criticizes her for being a weight loss channel that doesn't lose any weight and um, just really has a shitty personality in general. At some point during a back and forth between Gigi and Charlie, he told her to go back to Chick-fil-A. This was obviously a fat joke. Um, she completely turned it around and she said that he was being racist because, get this, fried chicken. So he told her to go back to Chick-fil-A because she's fat and she's eating fast food and she turned it around and tried to make it into him being racist because black people like fried chicken, which is so fucking stupid because 
I'm a vegan and even I will admit I used to love fried chicken. Like it's fucking delicious. Who doesn't love fried chicken? Um, so, um, so she and Callie use this whole racism argument to really hype up all their stands and the people that don't like the gaining ground and it got like real bad. Like these minions got real subhuman on him. They trashed his mom. One even contacted his job and told his job that they had a racist employee working for them. So these people are like the lowest of the low. Like this is YouTube. Keep the drama to YouTube. Um, keep it in the comments. If you want to make your own video, like I've started doing, responding to people that you don't like, go ahead, do that. Go on Twitter and do it. Um, but it's, who cares? It's literally just opinions on social media. Like that's all that it is. It's not that serious. So they went hard on Gigi. They accused him not only of being a racist, but also of being a pedophile. And there is absolutely no ground on which to accuse him of either of these things. At this point, I want Gigi to hold strong and actually consult a lawyer because they all know he isn't a pedo. And they completely fabricated it. They know they did. Everyone else knows they did. Tweets are screenshotted and... Now his address is out there and people being told, people are being told he's a racist and a pedo. Like if I heard that there was a, a racist or a pedophile living next door to me or living close to me or whatever, I'm not saying I would do anything, but someone might, you know what I mean? Um, so his life is very likely in danger now because of this. And like I said, there are screenshots. Um, I feel like this is um, definitely something that could be litigated um, because it does put his life in danger and because it is something that was completely fabricated. So um, I really think he needs to look into that. Uh, this behavior is really horrible. And I think Callie and Charlie owe Gigi a massive apology. They started this. They are destroying his life. And if he was a weak person, he, he could kill himself over this. Someone could commit suicide over this, over being docked. And this is a big deal and people need to see it as such. You know, um, Callie was doxxed a while ago and she had a complete and total breakdown about it. She was terrified. She had every right to be terrified. She had every, she had every right to have like a breakdown over it. Um, so she, of all people, should understand what a horrible thing it is to do to somebody, especially somebody who's not done anything to you. Like Gigi, Gigi hasn't done anything to Callie. Like, I don't understand. It's just some arguing back and forth on Twitter and like in YouTube videos. So, um, to give you a little bit of background, why I feel so strong about this subject is that I was doxxed and I was doxxed way back in like my third video. Um, yeah, like right around my third video, um, there was a girl who got my name and she searched my records and she found my criminal record. Uh, well, she found part of my criminal record. There's more guys, uh, get ready for story times eventually. But um, she found out I was arrested in 2017 and she then looked like a total dumbass when my assault was revealed that it was against a man who was trying to force me into sexual, sexual relations and I beat him up, I broke his glasses, I blacked his eye, I gave him a bloody nose, I, I think fractured his nose um, and all charges were dropped and I was cleared of it. Uh, same girl also threatened me that she was living three hours away from me and she was going to drive to my house and try to beat me up. Um, then she said she was friends with Yabba, you know, um, the YouTube underground. She said she, another channel I absolutely love. Um, she's a really cool girl. After she said that she knew Yabba and that Yabba and MVP were going to quote, come after me. Um, so I tweeted immediately at Yabba and Michael B. Petty and tweeted them the screenshots and both of them said they, they don't know this girl and that they'd never even seen me and that they certainly weren't going to come after me. Um, but 
so oh she disappeared from like youtube and twitter after that like i haven't seen her since uh i don't know if she's out there but she hasn't been on my page she hasn't commented she hasn't tagged me in anything so she disappeared after that rightfully so um, but my stuff is still out there. Granted, things in my life aren't as vulnerable as other people's. Um, I work for myself. Um, I don't have any family other than my child. Um, there's really no one to harass except for me. And, you know, I still made it known because it did make me nervous that people could have my address and this girl was like crazy so there could be like other crazy people too like even if it wasn't her so I just made sure I let everybody know that um I have weapons and um I certainly keep them in places that are close by and easy for an adult to get to should they need to but I also have surveillance on my property so I don't think that would ever be an issue but like I said it did make me feel insecure that people knew where I live and some nut job could try to come here and hurt me or hurt my family. Um, but that's about it for this video. I think that, um, like I said, Gigi is owed a huge apology. Um, all this is really, really fucked up. I feel horrible for him. Um, you know, he was really upset on live last night saying, you know, his life was ruined. Um, you know, who knows, he could lose his job over this. Um, but Gigi's going to be okay. You know what? He's got a lot of fans. He has grown really fast. Um, other people are jealous because he's growing really fast as a reaction channel and they're stagnant. Um, and he'll be okay. He'll be okay. Even if he loses his job, you know, I think people will come out and support him bigger and better than ever and he'll do lives and people will contribute and he will continue to make videos and have YouTube revenue. So I really hope that he doesn't worry too much about that. Um, but of course it's fucked up that, um, people have drug his mother into this and, um, it's just horrible. It's horrible. The whole thing's horrible. People are horrible. Um, no one should ever do this. We should come together as a community. And, um, I know Yabba is one person who is completely against doxing. I know it's happened to her. Um, I think it's happened to most reactors, um, big and obviously me, very small. Um, we need to come together and say it is not okay. We will not do it to each other. And if someone in the fan base or in the community, um, tries to put it out there that we will do everything we can to stop them, uh, from doing it. And, um, certainly that we won't spread it. So that's it guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I don't know how you're going to feel about this video. It's certainly different from my normal videos, but it's still in the reactor world. Um, so that's about it. Um, I hope everybody takes this to heart because I really mean it and I think everyone else should really feel for Gigi and what he's going through right now. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one and have a great day.